Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. On tonight's video I'm going to be turning a platter with a van call. I've not turned a van call before. Um, I saw it in Styles and Bates while I was up in my, uh, sorry, down, uh, having my trip down there and I thought, you know what, let's try it. Let's see what it turns like and I must admit, I do like it. So, um, I'm just putting the, uh, the moths in there now with the uh, Easy Woods uh, mid sized rougher. Just getting it to the diameter again to the shape that I need um, to accept the jaws. And just come in now with the, uh, the detailer, just to create that uh, dovetail, so the piece doesn't go flying off the lathe, and we don't want that. And now with the uh, Easy Woods uh, mid-size finisher, just put a bit of shape into the platter. I did know before starting this, I wanted a, a quite a large foot area. So just taking a few passes here and uh, getting to the shape that I'm looking for and also getting it to uh, to round. It wasn't quite uh, perfectly round this piece but um, <laughs> what piece ever is eh? And now with the overhead now just taking off the uh, a few final passes that I need to uh, to get this into shape. And now with something uh, something like um, I wanted to put a little bit of a. Uh, a recess in uh, in the top of the bowl or platter should I say I must admit say it's the first time that I've um, turned a van call it uh, it turned really nice to be honest And here we are with the uh, cling spore abrasives, sanding from 120 up to uh, 240, because we will be using the Yorkshire grit. Hey, look at that grain pan. I mean, it's absolutely stunning there with uh, just put a bit of uh, denatured alcohol or um, methylated spirits, as we say in the UK. And now applying the um, sanding sealer from Mam Sheen. This is the pre thinned, as you've just seen. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little face just in the corner of that grain there, a little smiley face. And there we are with the Yorkshire grip. Just working that in nice and steady there. Lathered it all on, as I like to say. And 500, just working it in, breaking down the uh, the particles of the Yorkshire grip. And now, just taking that last piece off. There we go. Now with the Hamster Sheen uh, high gloss wax, I couldn't believe how well this high gloss wax, and I do like the high gloss wax, and it gives a really good sheen, but on this wood, well, just watch, it just absolutely made it pop. And this is just the first coat. I did actually apply another coat just to, uh, just out of curiosity more than anything. And yeah, really, really happy with how this uh, 
how this finish turned out. Just letting the um, the towel do the work, really. And now we've flipped it round, and this is the uh, the mid-size uh, number one hollower. And you can see it just ripping away them shavings. Just look at them pile up. Just rounding that end off and starting hogging this bowl out. There was some real nice ribbons coming off of this uh, this wood, to be honest. I did notice something uh, in a few seconds when we get to the middle. <clears throat> I don't believe from memory that I've seen it in any other type of wood that I've turned before. So we're just creeping up on the centre now and just flatten that little bit off and just I'm digging in there now you see it goes white and I did stop to have a look at it um, I don't I honestly don't know what it was so if anybody's got any ideas to me it looked a little bit like a, a chalky type uh, material uh, I don't know if it's dried sap or like I say I don't I know nothing about this wood so um, yeah if anyone knows just drop us a comment in the uh, in the comments afterwards any info would be great on this one so I've, like I say I've never seen it before it piqued my interest even to the point there where I've left a little nubby nub in the middle and it's now starting to go this cut there it's pretty much gone And now with the, uh, the final cuts, or the final passes, should I say, and this is the uh, the full size finisher. And back to sanding, same as before. One eight, uh, sorry, one twenty, up to uh, up to two forty. Giving it a really good sand, and I did stop a few times just to make sure that none of that white material um, I'm gonna call it white material because I generally don't know what it was um, came back and it didn't and there we go again with the uh, the nature and alcohol just look at that boom just drying off real quick and back to the cellular sand and sealer from Hampshire. i did give it two coats on both sides um i do like to use the pre-thinned and i do like to give a light coat and then uh, another light coat and then that has all been and i do give it a good 10 minutes or so between each coat and now onto the yorkshire grit Again, just working that uh, that grit in, breaking it down a little bit, a little bit at a time, nice and steady. I, I, I tend to buff this for a good two to three minutes before um, before speeding it up. And coming back now, and all clear. 
and this is the uh, this is the first coat of the uh, high gloss. Well, for the first time turning a van call, I uh, I'm really happy with this one. Really happy with the shine. Really happy with the finish. A um, little bit intrigued to what that white stuff is, but uh, I'll find out eventually. And uh, I hope you like it. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and uh, please leave a comment afterwards. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Faster car. Lay my troubles.